Ladies and gentlemen, what's up guys? Charlie NASCAR here. About talking to you about the race and Phoenix that Kevin Hart won. But I got a little bit of a shout out to go do. Woo, I can't believe it. I double checked it through my written. Double checked it electronically. It has happened. We now have the closest person ever to hit my pick four. He had all four drivers. He picked Hart to win. He picked Kyle Busch to pick finish second. He had Hamlin third and Chase Elliott fourth. It was actually two flip flop. It was Elliott then Hamlin in the finishing for the race. But of course, there we come. A good friend of mine, been a big fan ever since I started out of this channel. He's done a lot to help me out. He even did shout outs for me on his channel, which isn't even a NASCAR related channel, but did to help me out. Get subscribers and views and attention to the channel. Helped out with the picks. He supplied the gift last year, the knife that we gave away at the end of the season. So man, without further ado, my good buddy Shiny Knife, you are awesome brother. I mean, you are now the closest to ever hitting the pick four perfectly. The closest ever. That is freaking amazing. So you go ahead, you take this video, got it on electronic, on everything, on the comment section, you can show everybody. There's proof that you know a lot about fucking NASCAR. Go ahead and show us the work and be like, yeah bitch, I almost got the pick four right. I'm the closest ever. You can do that. Man, awesome, brother. I am so happy that if someone had to get the closest, I'm glad it was you. Thank God. And I appreciate all you guys are playing. You got to keep playing along, man. One of these days, we will have someone to get the perfect pick four. Right now, Shiny Knife's the closest. He had all four drivers. Just third and fourth were in the different spots. But that damn, that is damn good. Now, let's get on to the race. The race was actually really good, believe it or not. I enjoyed it. What I didn't enjoy is when we got into four car racing, me and my other NASCAR buddy, NASCAR Triple Two, we were talking about it like every time the race got good, they went to that com went to commercials. I'm like, what the hell? You had a good four car, when it turned out to be a two car, went to three, then went to a four car thing. And as soon as it went to that, went to commercials and we had cautions. You know, we saw strategy play out with Kislaski and Newman. Could they have done it? What would have happened if a caution came out? We'll never know. But all in all, a really good race. I'm happy. <laughs> kind of sucks. I was hoping Bowman would get it, but oh well. Maybe next time he'll get he'll get better. William Byron leading his first laps of his career today. That was something to note. That was pretty cool. All in all, it was a good race. You know, you had different drivers leading, doing good. Different manufacturers on top. You know. Hey, I mean, all in all, it was a good race, except for the fucking commercials and Mike Joy's mouth. But what are we going to do? But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the race. Um, don't forget to subscribe so you can get, go ahead and um, get your picks in for the pre-race videos. For your top four picks. Give you guys a shout out like my boy Shiny Knife. Man, and if you, you guys should check out his channel if you're into knives, guns. He does like a lot of reviews of products too. Pretty cool video. One of the greatest people you'll ever meet on YouTube. So anyway, guys, God bless this country. God bless you all. God bless NASCAR. And as always, fuck Toyota.